All right, David Harry here. So, do you have a Chromebook which has got a broken or damaged screen on it? And you're thinking to yourself, I can't use this Chromebook anymore because it's got a damaged or broken screen. Well, depending upon the type of Chromebook that you've got, you still may be able to use that Chromebook like a desktop computer. So that's what I'm going to show in this video, which is how to get that secondary use out of certain Chromebooks, which have got a damaged screen. Now, to be clear, unfortunately, this will only work for certain Chromebooks, which have got either a HDMI video output from them or a USB-C output, which can also carry a video signal down it. So if you don't have either of those things, unfortunately, this will not work for you. Now, as you can see here, I've got a Chromebook, which definitely has a damaged screen. Now, it may not look too damaged right now as you're looking at it, but believe me, it is very damaged. Now, the thing with this particular Chromebook, what I do is that I use it in like this desktop mode, basically turning it into something which is essentially a Chrome box. And the way that I do that is to connect a HDMI to USB-C cable to the Chromebook, plug it into my computer monitor, and then I also connect a keyboard and a mouse. In this instance, I'm gonna show a wireless version, but you can connect all kinds of different mice and keyboards to your Chromebook, depending upon what type of USB ports that it's got on it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you how I set it all up, and then I will show you the Chromebook connected to the computer monitor and how I'm using it as a desktop Chrome device. But before I do that, a quick word, about this video's sponsor who is routermods.co.uk. At routermods.co.uk you will find a wide selection of all the latest wireless internet routers. These range from off-the-shelf routers by all the major brands through to professionally pre-modified routers. You can also send your router to router mods and have them professionally modify it for you. And they also have a comprehensive selection of antennas. So head over to routermods.co.uk for all your wireless internet needs. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to just run through quickly everything that I will be using here. So of course, this is my Chromebook with the damaged screen. And here I have a USB-C to HDMI cable. And this is obviously for connecting to the monitor. I then have got a keyboard and a mouse which connect wirelessly to the Chromebook using one of these little USB dongles. So this is just a quick close up of the cable that I will be using. As we can see on one end here, it has got USB-C and on the other end here, it has got HDMI. And I just connect the USB-C end of the cable into an available USB-C port on the Chromebook, just making sure that this particular port is capable of sending the video signal down it. And then I just connect the HDMI end of the cable into a HDMI port on my monitor. And then I connect the USB receiver for my wireless keyboard and mouse into an available USB port on the Chromebook. So with everything connected, I'm just going to switch on the Chromebook. Now what's going to happen here is we will get the Chromebook screen like this, but we won't see anything just yet on the monitor. But if we give it a moment, there we go, the monitor is now active. Now at this point, unfortunately, we are not seeing the same thing that's on the Chromebook screen on the monitor. So we wouldn't know what's going on here as far as like how do we log in and stuff because it's not being reflected onto the monitor. And of course, if you've got a completely smashed screen, you definitely wouldn't know where you're at. However, what you do after you have switched on the Chromebook, just simply close the lid down and then what will happen everything will then transfer over to the monitor so as you can see i can now log in so just give me a moment okay so as we can see here i am now onto the desktop for my chromebook 
unfortunately i cannot get my keyboard and my mouse into the shot at the same time but as we can see here obviously the mouse is being used and i will just use the keyboard in a moment so what we can do here is do absolutely everything that we would normally do on the chromebook but just treating it like it's a desktop computer here so as a for instance let me just go to uh, the google browser here and then let me just type something in so let's just go to let's see youtube okay as we can see there's youtube it's a little bit slow at the moment because my internet connection isn't too good here so let me just get shut of that we can then also go to the google play store here and then start downloading apps and games and stuff also if we just come into here we're going to get access to all of the apps that are available on the chromebook so basically everything that you would normally do with your chromebook you can do it in this mode treating it like it's a desktop computer now just before i finish this video you may be using a chromebook which may only have one available usb-c port on it if so, you may want to use something like this, which is a USB-C hub. So what happens here is we simply plug the hub into the USB-C port on the Chromebook. And then the hub will give us a lot of connections, such as SD card sockets, also USB ports here. And more importantly, we have also got then options for various video outputs, such as display port there. And then on this side, on this one, we've also got HDMI output that could even extend to USB-C ports for power delivery and data also headphone and microphone jack there and going back to this end also we can get ethernet ports on these USB-C hubs and these USB-C hubs are also worth bearing in mind just for any regular use on a Chromebook as well okay so that should just about do it then for this video and hopefully it has been useful to some people out there who have got compatible type Chromebooks even with a broken screen on them because obviously you can definitely extend the life of that Chromebook and it doesn't have to go into the bin which unfortunately is where a lot of these things end up even though they can still be used now obviously what I've done in this video you could do this with a lot of Windows PCs and also Mac PCs and if you have one of those with a broken screen Maybe give this idea a try for your broken Windows or broken Mac laptop as well. Anyways, if you found this video useful in any way, please do give it a thumbs up and a sub to the channel will be absolutely tremendous. There will also be links in the video description below taking you to some of the things that I've shown in this video. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.